Hi, my name is Siti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. Now today's video is all about Gmail and we are going to look at some canned responses. Now canned responses can save you loads of time. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can be notified of new tips and tricks being uploaded. Now you can see I have my Gmail open right here and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to activate canned responses. So go ahead and find the cogwheel in the top right corner and let's dive into our settings. Now once we're here we're going to look for the advanced tab. Now in advanced you will see canned responses and we have to enable this first. So let's go ahead and enable it together. Now canned responses are basically an entire email that you've typed out and you can save it. So that means that you no longer have to retype those same messages. For example, you have parent meetings or other different meetings that you are sort of always following the same structure, the same skeleton in your email. Now this is perfect for a canned response. Now how do we begin? Simply go to compose and start typing your canned response. Now once you have an email that looks somewhat like the response you'd like to save, we're going to click on the three dots. Now because we've enabled canned responses, we now have an extra option. Now this extra option is canned responses. Click on that and click on new canned response. We are now asked to give this a name. Now we're going to go ahead and name this test canned response. And once you've done that, it is now saved. However, do note, because we've now saved our first canned response, this menu, canned responses, looks different. We now have three options. The top is insert a canned response. The middle section is to save a canned response and the bottom section is to delete a canned response. Now this can be somewhat confusing because of the layout, but remember top insert, middle edit, bottom is deleting. So if you would choose to delete this canned response, you're going to click on the three dots at the bottom. However, if you are opening a new window and you want to insert a canned response, you're going to click on the option at the top. Now I'm going to show you what this looks like. So let's go ahead and open a new email and let's open up a blank compose window. As you can see, there is nothing written in this email yet, but what I'm going to do is before I type anything, I'm going to click on those three dots. I'm going to navigate to canned responses. And remember the top is where we insert. So I'm going to click on insert and then my test canned response. As you can see instantly, the entire email is typed for me and I can now just tweak the little details that I want to change in my email. Great for those emails where you have the same structure. Now using canned responses will not only save you time, it will also make sure that your emails are consistent and that admin tasks are not taking up all your time. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, dive into that comment section below and let me know how are you using canned responses? Are you going to use canned responses at all? And do you find these tips and tricks in Gmail helpful? If you did, like this video and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can be updated of our newest videos. And if you're still hungry for more, there's more videos on the channel. You can click on them right now.